You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, Greg Garrett, and Ashley Whitmore. It's To Hatch Pod time. Key Budge, Claire Scotty today. Claire, good to see you. Yes, it's been a while since you and I have done a podcast together. <laughs> it has. You and Maya, I think you guys have such great chemistry, and I enjoy listening to the two of you do this weekend show. And once she sat in for me, I go, "This is." I think this was a good feel. So I think you guys have good energy. But she's off and enjoying a day off today, so I'm happy to be her fill-in. All right. Well, I love it. I, I love working with everybody here on the team, and it's such a wonderful time of the week and something I look forward to every week. We've got Easter week weekend upon us. Mm -hmm. So does that mean everyone's closed down and there's nothing to do? No, not quite. (laughs) We do have a few closures, but everybody still has some fun going on this weekend and especially all the Easter activities for egg hunts and celebration. Well, family time. Good. Yes. Well, let's get into it. Where are we going to start today? All right. Well, let's start with our vineyards this week. Okay. We have Dorner Family Vineyard. They're open on Saturday, closed on Sunday. But on Saturday, they have Dave Mordigian playing from one to five. Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company has Guy and Opal playing on Saturday and Mike Heckathorn on Sunday from 2 to 5. And their menu this week is cheesesteak sandwiches, smash burgers, chili, a baked brie, and charcuterie and sangria, along with all of the wonderful wines that they serve. Triassic Vineyards has Crystal Whiskey playing on Saturday. And they will be closed on Sunday, but they are open on Fridays. So maybe extend your weekend out, start Friday, hit up Crystal Whiskey on Saturday, and then enjoy Easter. Tatchby Winery has Matt Lawson playing on Saturday from 2 to 5. And on Sunday, they will be open, but they don't have any bands playing on Sunday. And they will have charcuterie available all throughout the weekend. Over here at Stray Leaves downtown, they are open Thursday through Saturday from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. And they have seven new reds on their menu from 2020. Oh, very nice. Yes. And one new white from 2022. So that's an entire flight and a half Mm -hmm. (laughs) of trying out some new wines. So head on over and see what they're pouring over there. They have charcuterie, paninis, and a couple new desserts on the menu as well. Los Fiajero has a brand new Tempranillo that they are serving. Uh, We know that they're known for their Malbec, but they're also expanding their menu and they're utilizing local grapes. So uh, their Tempranillo is delicious and worth a a shot to head out there. And I know they've been getting very busy. So make sure you hit them up, give them a call, let them know you're coming out and enjoy some time over at Los Fijeros. That's good to hear. That yes. they're getting busy. Yes. <laughs> yes. And every time I check in with them, they're like, oh, yeah, the you know, tasting room's been busy and full and people are staying and they have a pool table. And so people get, you know, into some time together, time with friends and they play the pool and, and it's just been a wonderful setting over there. Very good. <laughs> yes. Heading over to our breweries. West Lane has their tacos every Thursday and happy hour on Friday. They have their teacher's appreciation night where they give a discount to all of our local teachers. Features. And on Saturday, they have open mic night. Local craft beer, we have open mic night every Thursday. And then Friday through Saturday this week, Lupita's Hot Tamales will be there. And on Saturday, Smoke and Jack Primo is playing from 7.30 to 10.30. They're starting up specials every day of the week. So on Wednesdays now, they have a wine Wednesday. It's 50% off the wines that they carry. And some of those wines are local. So uh, kind of an opportunity there. And I think I saw a margarita Monday. You have to go over there and see what's happening each day of the week. They've got specials now. And we know Geeks Who Drink is every Wednesday at 6.30. Fire up those brain cells and see if you can win some trivia. P-Dubs Mountain Bowling has Rusty Sun playing on Friday starting at 8.15. And that is a Chris Cornell cover band. And you can get tickets on Facebook and on their page. And on April 6th, they're going to have a comedy show at 8 p.m. And again, head over to their Facebook page for tickets. Very good. So that's our vineyards and our breweries. We always know that our local public library has things going on as well. Let's see, Friday this week, our public library at 3.30 has Spanish story time. And then on Saturday, they have family story time at 3 p.m. They're doing their cover to cover challenge right now, which is where kids are encouraged to read five books or so many hours. And, And so it's encouraging our kids to keep reading, keep learning, find that love of reading and 
and those winners who f- who finish the challenge get a card to In and Out Burger. Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready for Easter? And get into some Easter. Ready? Soon? Yeah, I'm yeah. ready. I can't. It's spring break, so yeah, we got to be ready for Easter. We got to be ready, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, our public library has their Easter egg hunt from 11:30 to 1:30 over at the library, and last year they did it within that little courthouse that or courtyard that they have. We'll see about weather and if that moves anywhere, but we know, I mean, it's Tehachapi, so we're going to get bundled up, we're going to have our umbrellas, and we're going to have a good time no matter what. And be ready for cold and warm. Yes. It's ready to strip those layers <laughs> down. <laughs> Absolutely. Bring a backpack so you've got you know, room to transition if needed. Exactly. <laughs> that Easter egg hunt is for ages 4 to 12. On March 30th, on Saturday, Jay's Hideaway is doing a big grand opening at 9 a.m. They're going to have breakfast bites, and they're going to be doing a little Easter egg hunt for all those families coming out and enjoying. We know Jay's Hideaway. They're located in Old Town, right off of Bryan Way. They're very, very supportive of our veterans, of our public service. First responders. First responders, thank you. So we're excited to get out there and celebrate their one year of being open here and cutting that ribbon and enjoying some egg hunting as well. Very good. I can't (laughs) believe it's been a year already. I know, right? It's gone so fast. (laughs) (laughs) On Saturday, TVRPD is doing their big Easter egg hunt, but they are getting ready for some weather. So they have moved their egg hunt from West Park over to the Aspen Builders Gym, which is... Okay. Right, right next door, but they're going to set it all up and, and do it in there. So if there is any rain or snow or whatnot, we can all be comfy cozy while we're hunting for some eggs and doing some wonderful activities. Good. It's, it's nice that they have that asset where they're able to shift due to weather and, and the kids can still have a blast. Yes, absolutely. And so that will start at 10 a.m., And that's more than just an egg hunt. There's treats and activities included as well. Our Maple Street Library, which is a little side street fun library where you can take a book, leave a book. But they also have a little pantry where you can leave canned goods, take canned goods, whatever you need. They are also doing a little egg giveaway starting out in the morning. So if you're walking by and you want to check it out, there might be a little special something there. Very cool. (laughs) On Sunday, there will be an Easter egg hunt and service at the First Baptist Church located at 1049 South Curry Street. That will start at 10 a.m. And on Saturday, Stallion Springs is doing their big egg hunt at Manowar Park at 10 a.m. That is for ages 1 to 12. And we know Bear Valley Springs also does their own extravaganza. So if you're in those communities, check it out. Make sure you know what's going on. Lots to do for everybody. Yes. And throughout the entire zip code, all around the mountain. Yes, I love that. Everybody comes together and they're ready to celebrate and provide stuff for our families as well. Very nice. Well, Claire, let's let's talk about Discover Tehachapi and the business that you and your husband own and you the reason why you're able to get all of this information because your business really deals with exploring and enjoying Tehachapi. Well, thank you so much, Key. We work very, very closely with our vineyards out here, our breweries, and all of the locations, you know, our museums, you know, all of these places that provide wonderful services for guests and for residents. And so over the last couple of years that we've been running these all-inclusive tours to see our wineries and our breweries and our museums, we've created this wonderful relationship. And so every week I'm reaching out to everyone. I'm like, hey, let me know what's going on because I want to share. I've got a really good connection and reputation with everyone. And, and that's where I've worked very hard to, to build that. And you can tell in the tours as well, because Chris is very informed and he's always ready to share information about our businesses and about this growing wine industry that we have up here. He's constantly doing research and having stories to share of interest to make it just that much more fun. Yes. All right. And how can people follow along uh, with your business uh, on your social medias and your website? Yeah. So we're on Facebook and Instagram right now uh, at Discover to Hatchby. You can go to our website, discovertatchby.com. You can always give us a call, 661 235 5334. We try to post every week as well. We share this podcast, but we also post what the wineries are doing, what the breweries are doing. So if you're driving and you're, you can't write this down, head over to our social media page 
pages and you'll see it all there as well. Outstanding. Easy enough to do. Yes. And then make sure you hit subscribe for the podcast and follow your social media so that way you always get it all the information every week. Yes. Is there anything else, Claire, we haven't touched on? Oh, I wanted to touch on this new concert that popped up. It's Concert for a Cause, and it's uh, promoted by Rotary Club. James Lee Stanley is going to perform this special concert on May 18th at 7 p.m. at the BK Theater. It's only $25 for a ticket, and this concert is to go toward funding the Warrior Pantry. There are a lot of athletes and a lot of students who go hungry, unfortunately, in our community. And so this is an opportunity to feed those students when school is not in session. So Rotary has worked very hard to get this pantry stuffed and our community has come forward and donated a lot of food, canned goods, all kinds of stuff. Our Salvation Army is working toward filling that as well. But this is a, a concert that will raise money to keep it full all summer. So please call Linda Carhart, 818-519-7144 to get those tickets or to see how else you might be able to help. Well, thank you for sharing all the information here on this holiday week. We've kicked off spring. We've got all kinds of things to look forward to as the weather is unstable right now, but it's heading towards warm weather and we're going to have just a beautiful spring and summer. Yay! Yay! (laughs) <laughs> All right, folks, if you've got a question based on what Claire has shared, please send it to us at media at TehachapiCityHall.com. I'll forward it off to Claire. If you have a question for us, a thought or a suggestion for the show, let us know. Media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Claire, thank you for taking the time. Thank you. All right, folks, we'll catch you again soon right here on Tehachapod. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.